Hello there! Welcome back to Fun with Orthographic Plans! Last week we did One Point Perspective. If you haven't seen that video, I would recommend watching that first. Today's video will be Two Point Perspective. And let's get right into it! Alright, Two Point Perspective. Let's see. The good thing is we don't have to copy the side view underneath the top view. So that saves us a lot of time already. What will take a bit more time than in one point perspective is finding the vanishing points. Though it is still very easy to do. What we have to do is find the angle of this, which is at 45 degrees, and copy that at the station point. So let's do that right now. 45 degrees right here, 45 degrees right there. And then move them all the way up to the picture plane, right here. And right here. And then drop them down to the horizon line, which is where vanishing points belong. Like this. So this is our left vanishing point, And this is our right vanishing point. And similarly to one point perspective, it is easiest to start with everything that touches the picture plane. So that's this right now, which is this front of the carport and this one right here. And because it is on the picture plane, we know that right here it will be in the correct position and it will also match the heights of these side views. So what we can do is extend this line first Then have this drop straight down. And I'll have to extend it a bit like this. And this line right here, which you probably can't really see, but I will draw it in ink, is our first line of the drawing. Now we can see that lines are moving away to the left, lines are moving away to the right. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. We'll be drawing some guidelines to the right and to the left. And if we now can find this point and this point, we can already basically complete the entire carport. So let's see if we can do that. To find this point, we'll go to the station point until we cross the picture plane and then drop it straight down. It will be another episode of me saying that a whole lot of times. Same for the other one until the picture plane. Drop it down. And those two vertical lines will be the sides of the carport. To finish the carport, we need to find this point, which is actually very easy. Just using our knowledge of boxes, we know that this will go to the right finishing point. This will go to the left vanishing point. And where these two points meet will be the back of the carport. So that is a carport already. The easiest thing to do is probably find this point because it is already on this line that we partly have due to the carport. So it's this point and the back point that we can't really see. So what we can do is extend this line further forward like so and then have this drop down so first to the picture plane then straight down from there which gives us this point right here which will be this point of the house this point of the house this point of the house what we can also do is find the line that is on top of it. We can't see it from the top view, but it would be this line right here and this line right here. 
which again is just an extension from what we have on the cardboard. So if we extend this line until it meets this line, we will find the point we're looking for. I'll just do it in ink right away actually. There we go. Connect the two. There you have it. So this is this basically. Right, the next point we're gonna find is this one. So as you can see, it starts in this point and goes to the left. So what we're gonna do is have this point and make it go to the left vanishing point. Like this. And then drop this to the picture plane. And from there, drop it straight down. Which gives us this point right here. And if we want to find that same point, but the top one, so this one, we can again, because it's going to the left, draw a line to the left finishing point, and then where this crosses, we will find our point. There we go, and that's the front plane of the house also done. Now the last thing we need to do is find the roof, or the top of the roof, because we already have the edges. And this is probably the most difficult thing to do, but in itself is not really difficult because we don't have any guidelines to drop this roof onto. We have to make one ourselves. So instead of dropping this towards the station point, the first thing we're gonna do is extend it until it meets the picture plane. Next thing we're gonna do is draw a line parallel to the ground line at the height of the top of the roof. this and then drop this until it crosses this line like so and this will give us a starting point for the guideline we're gonna draw right now as you can see it's moving from left to right so it's gonna go to the right vanishing point so we'll do that right here and now this is a guideline where we can drop one of these points to. So let's do that right now. First, the front, do the picture plane and straight down. Gives us this point. We can do the same for the back of the roof, which will be on this line because it's on the same line right here to the station point and then straight down till it crosses and this gives us all the points we need the only thing that's left for the doors we'll have to do the same thing as we did with the top of the roof so we're gonna extend it towards the picture plane then have it meet at the correct height from the side views and from that point draw a guideline towards the vanishing point. It is already touching the picture plane so we can drop it straight down which would be this line right here. So all we need to do is find the correct height on this line which is right here. As we can see the cardboard is going from left to right so we're gonna go to the left vanishing point. And this is where the cardboard will sit. Now what we do is what we do normally. We go to the station point and then straight down. There you go. That's the top right corner of the cardboard. Do the same thing for the left to the station point and then straight down. 
And there you have it. That's the car port. And the process for the front door is the exact same. So we're gonna extend this whole line towards the picture plane. Drop it straight down. Connect it with the correct height. It's the same height as this. So we'll just choose this point because we already have it. Which is right here. And then where these meet, we're gonna draw a line to the left vanishing point because this is going towards the left. So like this. And then this bottom line will be the top of the door and then we can do what we always do first one and this one is on the same line as the top of the roof so we can just continue this line further down and that's it that's the door and now we're still not done because the windows or the doors, I'm sorry, they have depth. And because we're looking from the right, we can actually see it. So we can extend this point towards the station point and then straight down. It will be very close, but you will actually see the difference. And then from here, we draw this line to the right vanishing point. And the same will be true for the door of the main part of the house. So take this back corner towards the station point. Straight down. Don't forget. A line that moves away to the right. And that will be our finished piece. All right, that will be it for today. I know this is not the most edge of your seat exciting topic, but I still hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like. We got a lot of fun videos coming up, so if you don't wanna miss those, make sure to subscribe as well. And most importantly, don't forget to ink outside the box.